lights, camera, action. How are we really doing this? Wow. This is just a randomly planned video. So this is to just show you guys, hey, if you ready to start a YouTube channel, start a business or do whatever your heart desires, sometimes you just gotta jump in head first and do it. So here I am. Again, my name is Lee. Welcome to my channel. I named this channel The Glow Up With Lee because I basically are just here to kind of document my journey and just share my journey with other people. Um, mainly because I'm in my 40s actually 41 to be exact yes 41 don't look at me like in my age bracket sometimes we feel like it's just too late to do certain things in life whether it's just read and search certain goals or follow certain dreams whether it's to lose weight or just pursue what you want to do in life sometimes we get to a point to where we are just kind of stuck and we feel like it's just too late so I wanted to start this channel to be able to kind of share my journey and showcase that it's never too late to do anything that your heart desires, right? So let's get to the main point of why you came to this video to begin with. So um, my weight loss journey began probably the beginning of 2021. I was turning 40. And sometimes you just take a look in the mirror one day and you just say, this just this just is not it. Sometimes life just happened, things change. I be I think this began when I started working at graveyard shift. Graveyard shift. So you know, working graveyard, eating full course meals at midnight, one in the morning. That's gonna that's gonna, that's gonna catch up with you, right? And eventually it did. And my highest weight was probably 199.9 might as well say 200 well it's a lot of things that you know i had to do to kind of get to where i am so i lost about 45 pounds in about six months you know just with hard work discipline consistency changing my diet working out at home it definitely is possible so i'm here to share and funny you know that i am recording this video because i actually came here just to take um pictures of my jewelry for my jewelry business and I happen to um, I was actually going to do this tomorrow I happen to have the notebook that I wrote down of what I was going to talk about so this must be this must be meant to be I'm going to try to do my best not to make this video too long just because like I said I have a lot going on without um, around me but I feel it's just time for me to just kind of sit down record this video get it out the way get the show on the road okay because I am Let's here get into it so step number one I would say is you have to have an intentional mindset of wanting to lose weight you have to know the work and the discipline that's going to take for you to get to where you want to go that's going to take some sacrifice on your end that means you may have to sacrifice not eating out you may have to sacrifice not going out you may have to sacrifice certain influence around you you have to put yourself in a, in a position to where you have that mindset of you know understanding that you can't do certain things anymore and be intentional in your um, fitness journey. The next journey. step you want to do is actually counting your calories. That actually plays a very, very, very important, like your diet plays a very important role into you losing weight. You can work out all you want, but your diet is everything. So you wanna um, count your calories. Actually, you can actually go to like calculator.net, I think is what it's called, calculator.net. Um, it's gonna, you know, you wanna enter your sex, your age, your height, and your current weight and the weight that you want to get down to and it will kind of calculate your calorie intake that you should be taking on a daily basis. So you, so I did use that. So you want to calculate your calories and then um, you can download like an app. You may have it on your phone. I'm a Samsung user. iPhone users don't come from me, okay? But I have Samsung Health, has a very great calculator, um, a calorie counter on there. You can download an app, but counting your calories and actually seeing what you're intaking is a game changer. Calorie intake is like 1,800 or 2,000 calories per day. You go to McDonald's, get a Big Mac and fries, guess what, you've already consumed your calories. So I'll get, I want you guys to really start paying attention to what you're intaking, looking at those calories, and you will see um, what a big difference um, it is. I remember before I started actually counting my calories when I would always see people in the store and they're looking at the calories and I would always ask them, what are they looking at? When you really pay attention to what you're consuming, it really plays a key role. So counting your calories 
is very, very important. And um, just really seeing what you're into. Before I started working graveyard and before we went into quarantine and all of that stuff, um, I actually did kind of use, I used to go to the gym about three times a week. Um, but all that changed, like with the pandemic and working, like I hadn't been in the gym in probably about a year, okay? Um, so I knew getting back into my journey, I had to get some type of movement back in my body, okay? Because my body was just used to work, sleep, eat and that's it okay um so i started just basically walking walking is the best way to kind of kick start your journey you don't have to go right to the gym and start doing some crazy workout um just start walking i would say incorporating about 20 to 30 minutes of just walking into your everyday routine will help a lot if you work from home on your lunch break your break whatever whenever you get a chance um, just walk around whether it's outside or whether it's in your living room whether it's back and forth to the kitchen 10 times get your steps in get your body moving so that you you know once you do incorporate like a fitness routine your body doesn't go into shock you know so start getting um, in, into the um, into the groove of getting a walking routine. Start counting your steps. I mean, we have smart watches, we have phones that we have apps that can calculate our steps. I would say starting out, you know, one thousand to five thousand, then to ten thousand steps, um, and just gradually increasing that is going to help jump start. You know, just your 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 fitness journey. So you want to start incorporating just walking in your routine. The thing I did was actually I cut out my alcohol intake. I was a social drinker, especially on the on give the me a couple of shots, give me a couple of drinks, I was there, okay. Um, but cutting down on my alcohol, I really don't even drink at all anymore. It has to be like an occasion and that's okay. Um, but I do not drink like I used to. Cutting back on my alcohol, it's crazy how much weight I lost once I stopped consuming the alcohol that I was drinking like on the weekend so I think we really don't realize like how much sugar and calories and just how much it has um, how much alcohol has in it so downgrading on my alcohol intake actually helped me a lot in that as well so just think about that the next time you get ready to pour that next shot or that next margarita I mean I'm not saying don't do it at all but you just have to cut back on it if you're trying to lose weight that's something that's a sacrifice that we're gonna have to you know cut back on okay and then when you do that you know watch what you eat like when you like we have to realize although we're in a fitness journey and we're you know in a more healthy life of living it's okay to have a cheat day okay I'm always down for some tacos and tequila okay um, cheat days become a reward like it's exciting when you know you're eating a certain way all week and you haven't been drinking you're consuming all your water but then an occasion comes and it's like yes we go get to go get eat tacos margarita already is gone before they even made the drink you just it's exciting because it's like a reward for like good behavior kind of like you know our, our our children you know if they if they're they're good they get rewarded right hey you know what we can get re rewarded as adults as well um by sticking to the plan doing what we need to do staying disciplined and being good we gonna get rewarded with good food good the drinks next thing or the next step next tip i don't know you guys this video is very very random i did not plan this out so you guys gonna have to bear with me but the next tip that i would say is not to consistently weigh yourself um when i first started my journey i, I would say i was pretty much like 200 pounds the last time i weighed myself and then when i started changing my diet and started working out I found myself always stepping on the scale like the next day and you can't consistently weigh yourself because it's actually going to start to discourage you when you don't see the weight on the scale to change so one thing that I did is I actually took my scale and I put it away for a month and I still stayed on my journey still worked out still changed my diet still did what I need to do I did not weigh myself for an entire month let me tell you when I finally pulled out that scale and weighed myself and I was 182 pounds 182 pounds that's when I really noticed what I was doing um, was Which, working. Actually, I wouldn't weigh myself, but like probably every two weeks. But I did begin to see like a change in my face, a change in my body. People at work started to notice I was losing weight, so I knew I was doing something right. 
but I knew I was not, I, I couldn't consistently keep weighing myself. Um, if you just do everything, do what you're supposed to be doing, eventually the weight is actually is just going to start falling off. If you really, really, really stay consistent, really stay um, disciplined and um, determined to do what you need to do, you will eventually just begin to see a change. Um, but yes, just put the scale away. Just put it away. Go right now. Go put the scale away. I'll wait. Another good thing that you can do to, you know, help yourself lose weight is to have an accountability partner. Um, you're going to have to surround yourself around people who understand um, your journey and what you're trying to do, not people who are going to influence you in a positive manner, not a negative manner. So if they know that you're cutting back on drinking, you don't want to do certain things or eat a certain way, they're not going to influence you in a negative way. But having an accountability partner, someone who's on the same journey as you, someone who's going to push you, encourage you when you don't feel like working out or when you just feel like stopping by and get some fast food someone who's going to hold you accountable accountable and be like no we're not doing that right because once you start one cycle then it just goes to the next cycle and then you right back where you started so having someone who can hold you accountable someone that you can work out with someone that you can learn how to make healthy meals with um will help 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 a lot always just having like a partner in crime that's on the same journey as you um, will definitely be beneficial. So I would look into finding an accountability partner. Next tip would be to cook more and eat out less, plain and simple. One, your bank account will thank you. Two, your body will thank you. And three, your bank account will thank you. Like if you are one of those people who really eat out a lot, look at your, your bank statement. Just take a minute, pause this video, just look at your bank statement about like, how much money you're actually putting in um, on just eating out and even if you work outside of the home we're we're talking about you know even if you just go to Starbucks really quick and then you go here real quick and you know grab a donut from here like that stuff really 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 adds up and it's just so much easier to kind of just find healthy meals to cook at home things that you can eat throughout the week instead of you know just eating out every single day like just take the time when this video is over take a look at your bank statement and determine like how much money are we really really spending out when we can just you know make healthier meals at home and keep a little cash in the pocket because we know everything is inflated around here and we need to keep those bank accounts inflated okay so take that time just you know find a routine to you know cook more try to come up with a meal prep prep routine Pinterest is my friend Pinterest has everything on there um, but yeah try to cook more and eat out wrapping up this video soon but my last tip of advice is to along with walking to incorporate some type of workout routine um, me personally I used to love going to the gym I do not like going to the gym anymore sorry that scared me um, I do not like going to the gym anymore um, during the pandemic and just realizing um, you can just work out at home and get the same results, you know, without having the gym fees and just being in the comfort of my own home. Um, that is one thing that has really, really helped me stick to um, my fitness journey. And, you know, I've been at a consistent weight um, for the last year. So I started at almost 200. I've been um, at 160 for about the last year and I have been able to maintain that is where my body is comfortable I actually dropped down all the way to like 156 but um, you know once I lost the weight and maintained my diet I did gain a, a couple of pounds back and my body has been consistently at about 160 so that's how you will know where your body is comfortable but anyhow just incorporating you know a fitness routine um, in the comfort of my own home that is where I come in at I'm not a fitness instructor anything like that um, I'm just one of those who like to cut on some music and just work out okay um, I like to do cardio dance sometimes I, I don't do a lot of heavy weight lifting um, but I do lift up to about 10 pounds um, in my workout you routine. Have to remember on our fitness journey, once you start to lose weight, it's going to turn into more so like loose skin. So you have to actually, you know, want to work on toning that as well. So some of us lose weight 
and then you become even more you know self-conscious of your body because of the loose skin but it's not I mean you have to you know begin to just kind of tone that up and just keep a consistent workout routine um, so that is what I will be incorporating um, into this channel um, I just relaunched my jewelry brand I will be introducing that um, beginning of next year incorporating you know business videos tips and knowledge and wisdom that I've learned over the years so like I said this is more so of like a fitness business lifestyle type um, channel just keeping a sound mind and a healthy mindset of knowing that you know we can be financially successful but you have to have the mentality uh, you have to have a healthy mind you have to be healthy mentally physically spiritually financially it all kind of plays so going into back. the new year you know just kind of think about things that you want to change and grow from in life and you do not have to wait until January 1st to start making a change if you want to start your fitness journey business journey you know school journey anything you want to do you don't have to wait to January 1st there's no me I'm really not, I'm really not a new year new me type person I feel like we should be growing um, every day you did stick through and watch this entire video I really really genuinely appreciate it um, I'm going to be dropping my first workout cardio routine whatever you want to call it I'm going to be dropping at least one video a week maybe two I have you know. to incorporate this into my schedule and my routine but I am definitely determined to really um, build and upscale this channel to a wonderful amazing community of people who want to just grow and just live the best life that we are called to be I want you guys to know like the reason I really really you know started this channel was one day when I just kind of realized that we only live once time waits for no one. Thank you again for watching this video. My name is Lee. Remember to never let anyone dull your shine. You just continue to sparkle on without them. Until next time, be blessed. Bye!